Biden debacle is just most recent example of what I've come to think of as the gap, the gap between what many of us believe to be true because we've seen it with our own eyes and what the arbiters of truth allow us to say. So, for example, with our own eyes, we see that different groups obviously have different gifts, that uh, men and women have different gifts, that uh, different religions attract different types of people. Uh, but you can't say these things out loud, out loud that uh, racial profiling is supposedly you know, this great sin, but the different groups don't commit the same crimes at an equal proportion. Jonas here on COVID, on Black Lives Matter, on Russiagate, on Hunter Biden's laptop. The elites told us there was one correct viewpoint, only till finally, years later, they acknowledged that our eyes hadn't molest, misled us, the elites had. And another key story that I think is getting missed from mainstream media coverage of the Joe Biden decline story is the threat to national security. Uh, I fault the conservative media for not failing to nail down the Biden decline story with overwhelming granular detail just like the mainstream media failed to do. But for every conservative pundit who provided comfort and strength to people who saw that something was blindingly, obviously true, Joe Biden's senility and incapacity for office, and they, they provided comfort and strength to people that their own eyes were not deceiving them, right? The, the elites were downplaying the extent of Joe Biden's decline because they didn't want to provide a partisan advantage to the Republicans. They didn't want to replay the fiasco of the Hillary Clinton emails that were released during the 2016 campaign, and that helped Trump. But everybody who said publicly that Joe Biden was senile, such as talk show host Michael Smirconish, uh, centrist, centrist uh, pundit Mark Halperin, right, they all did the Lord's work by furthering the truth. Conservative talk radio did the Lord's work in telling people, yeah, what your eyes show you to be obviously true that Joe Biden is senile and unfit for office, right? That is true. And so people get comfort and strength from conservative media that uh, affirms what their eyes are seeing.